Hi, my name is Wayne. I am an ASC certified master technician. I have over 34 years of experience. Today, you and I are going to help to repair your car. Today we're working on a 1999 Acura Integra with a 1.8 liter dual overhead cam engine. This customer brought us the car complaining that it's overheating in traffic or when you're driving at slow speeds. Now there's a lot of things that can cause a car to overheat, such as a plugged radiator or a thermostat that's gone bad. But before we do any diagnosis, the first thing we must do is allow the engine to cool down sufficiently. Now we're gonna perform our, our visual inspection now that the engine has cooled down sufficiently. We're gonna make sure there's nothing blocking the airflow in front of the radiator and the condenser. That looks good. We're gonna look for any leaks in the hoses. We don't see any leaks anywhere. We're gonna check the coolant level in the radiator. Now the radiator is full of coolant, so we don't suspect a leak. I think we have a problem in our fan. We're not moving the air through the radiator at slow speed. Down the freeway, higher speeds, the air rushing through the car will keep it cool. So let's check the fan motor. For today's repair, we will be using our trusty flashlight, a laser thermometer, a pair of pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, a six inch quarter inch drive extension, quarter inch drive ratchet, 10 millimeter and eight millimeter sockets, a circuit tester, our gloves, and our safety goggles. Now we're going to check for proper cooling fan operation. We're gonna bring the engine up to proper operating temperature, and we're gonna turn on the air conditioning. In this scenario, the cooling fan should be operating. Now with the engine running at proper operating temperature, which we can verify with our photo temp sensor, we notice that when the AC is on, fan number one is not working but fan number two is. Fan number two is our air conditioning fan, but we need both of them on with the engine at 230 degrees. Well, fan number one is not working, that's our problem. So let's go ahead and diagnose the electrical system. We have our circuit tester connected. We're gonna check for power and ground at the harness side of the connector. We have good ground and we have good power. So now let's check the fan motor itself. We're gonna energize the fan motor. And the circuit tester tells us we have an open in the cooling fan motor. So let's take it off and check it out. We've replaced our fan motor. The old one is there, the one that had an open circuit in it. We've put our new fan motor on and we're gonna check it before we put it back in. Again, we use our power probe. And it works. Now let's put it back in. Now that we've installed our new cooling fan motor, we're going to make sure that it comes on in the car. And since this engine overheated, it might be a good idea to flush the cooling system and replace the thermostat. Now we're going to get it to operating temperature and we're gonna check and see if it comes on at the correct temperature with the air conditioning on. Okay, good. We have the engine running. We have our upper radiator hose, the lower radiator hose are at good temperatures. The cooling fans both come on, both of them with the air conditioning and the primary fan comes on with coolant temperature. This is how it's supposed to work. Well, since this engine overheated, you know, it might be a good idea to check the thermostat and flush the cooling system as well. Since we have the upper radiator hose off, we want to make sure that our coolant is full. Only thing left to do now is to take it for a road test. We've just returned from our road test and the temperature gauge is in the normal reading. We can hear the fans working. Both of them are very audible. We've driven it at a low speed and at a high speed and we have no more overheating conditions. Now there's many things that can cause an overheating condition. We've only talked about 
the cooling fan, and that repaired this one. So, we have done a professional diagnosis, a professional checking, and a professional repair. Job well done. The keys go to you.